Hey, mini lovers, it's Allie, and welcome to my channel. Allie's all about minis. Um, today I have some mini mail. Um, they are both boxes from uh, Facebook groups about miniatures. Um, the first one, I wrote it down so I wouldn't forget, is called We Creations Dollhouse Miniatures. Okay, so this is you just put this in your Facebook search and it'll uh, the group will come up and ask you if you want to join. And then the second box is from one that I buy from all the time, Affordable Dollhouse Miniature Sales. So same thing, that's on Facebook as well. I'm going to put these in my drawer because I'll use them again next time. So, um... I think we're going to start with the smaller box. I'm going to put this out of my way. I've got a bin here that I'm going to be putting stuff in because obviously I am not ready to put it in my dollhouse. And this will just keep it safe from said little furry curious kittens. Um, so let's see what I got. Again, uh, as I've said in previous videos... Um, this is a, a new Facebook page, but a, a seller that I bought from before, so she knows me, and what happens is she'll, they both will post pictures, um, and what you do is below the picture, if you want the item, um, you just, uh, write the word sold, and what happens is they'll have sales, and they'll have uh, all kinds of different things and she will I guess put it in a little box and and wait till the box fills up so once I've marked that I've sold enough she, she'll message me and say hey you know you're up to this amount or whatever do you want to settle up oh. and I you know the, the shipping is is about five bucks or whatever for a box like that size so, um, I like to wait till it's a decent amount before I ship it out. Oh my God, how cute are these? Do you see what that is? It's a little decanter. Oh, I gotta take them out. Now, I do, like I said, th this could have been from a couple of months, actually, of her posting. So, I don't remember prices of everything. Uh, oh my God, could they be any smaller? I don't know if those cups are one twelfth scale. They're so small. Um, it does go in. Oh, you're not even seeing, are you? Oh my God, they're so small. I'm going to have to zoom in. How cute is that? Now, um, put something behind it. Oop. I don't want to lose it. They're so, so small. I mean, really, really small. And the camera is not doing them justice. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to put these away because they're so small. I really think I got it for the little decanter. These glasses seem to be very, very small. I don't know if that'll work in a one twelve scale doll uh, in their hands. Okay, so I'll just take this off real quick. I am going to try and move along rather quickly because I do believe that the second box has a lot of stuff in it. Okay, so again, you're seeing this probably for the... What is this? I, I have no idea why I bought this. No clue. This, to me, isn't really considered a miniature. Um, I do have a miniature village that maybe I thought this truck would be cute with. But not with the little diamond <laughs> glittery windshields but 
it's cute, just maybe not something I would use. It's definitely not for my dollhouse, that's for sure. Okay, I don't know what this is. It's interesting the way she's got it wrapped up, huh? take all it. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this was a table that she had that was broken. And I don't remember if she just offered it. I think she offered it for free, actually. Uh, I could definitely fix this. These legs are all wonky. You can see there. This leg is, is really bad. But I think with some barbecue skewers, I could, or some uh, balsa wood legs, or my bamboo legs even, I could just pop these off and make uh, some new legs. So, it's not bad. The top's not bad. I mean, I do wish that it folded or did something, but it, it doesn't. It's permanently attached. Now, I feel like I'm... I mean, it's a miniature channel, right? You should be able to see everything and not from all the way back here. So that's why I'm real close up. All right, so that's something that will be in a future video. We'll fix that up. Now here is a bunch of, you know what? Let's do this first. Probably last, um, probably about a year ago, I bought a bunch of frames off of Amazon. I had... I don't know. I, I was an, on a frame kick, um, and I have to. They're they're buried in a, in a bin, um, but I, I wanted to get some art to put in them. So she was selling this. It was probably just a couple of dollars. I you know me. I don't. Whoops. I don't spend a lot. So these are just some. You can see they're glossy. Here's a little, this one looks very familiar to me. I don't know why. That's interesting. So, it was probably just, you know, a pack of, a, of assorted. Oh, here's the blue boy. Now this is, I know this is a actual painting. And this one actually reminded me of uh, something that my parents had on their wall. It's very nice. And back to the beginning. So anyway, I figured I would try to fill some of those frames when I start to... Oh, somebody's playing with that tissue paper. <laughs> so when I start to um, decorate the dollhouse. I close this knife up just in case a kitty gets it. I've been buying just sort of random things. This is just a really, really cute little hat. <laughs> I figured that'd be cute on my on my little doll. Of course she doesn't have any other winter attire, but that's really cute. And she's got a little phone. metal that's pretty cool let's see if I can focus on that there we go I'm just realizing the, the light is on the phone so that was cute and this oh boy come on I sometimes have trouble with these tiny little zippies This is a little magic genie lamp. I'm trying to pick it up so you can see it without me. My big clunky fingers in the way. That's really cute. Very nice. So that's something for one of the artifacts for my stew for my uh, 
library study room. Okay, what is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. This is just some random, I guess these are Barbie clothes. They were probably a dollar. What are you doing? Cat removal, I'm sorry. Um, and I guess I thought they were smaller scale. They're, they're pretty large. I can't take these down. Oh, that's cute, really. Um, but maybe we'll figure out something else to do with them. I think I probably paid a dollar for them. Sorry, I'm getting, my cats are climbing on me all of a sudden like crazy. All right, so coming to the last little, yep, I think that's the last packet. I'm just tossing the tissue so they have something to shred instead of my leg. What is this? Huh. These are just some, like, Working scale models includes bulbs. Oh, these actually work. Um, I probably got this for my little Christmas village. So, I don't know how I'll get them to work. I don't have any electric. And it's not included in here, so that'll be something I'll have to figure out one day. All right, so that is the first box wasn't a lot in there probably honestly probably could have held that and let it go for another couple of weeks it was sort of not worth the shipping because I think that table was the biggest item on there and that was free so next time I think I'll opt to wait longer but this box I know has a lot of stuff because honestly I start I started going so crazy that I said please you got to bill me. Yep, see, here's, this is what she does. She puts your name on the box, and every time you purchase something, it goes in the box. So it probably stands like this so she can see everybody. Okay. So let me see how she packed it. Okay, she packed it in several little bunches. So let me just take those out. I think I did buy, end up buying some furniture in this. Yep, there's some furniture. Let's see what this is. Put that knife back. No, I didn't put it. What, oh, here it is. Okay. It's a cold day here in Missouri. Um, it's damp. It's not snow cold, but it's a damp. Oh, it's a damp cold. Isn't that cute? Okay, so this has no um, knobs. God, the knobs are really cute. They're like the head of a pin. Just ran out of time there. So this does open. That's really cute. And these open, but they don't have little knobs. So I'm sure I'll find something. But this is actually really cute. Oh, this is not. Uh, this is going to have to be repaired. Now, I think she gave me a really good deal on this. Again, it's a, sh oh, it's a Shackman. Um, I don't think these open. No, these sides don't open. But it's really cute. It just needs a little work on this door and some knobs. A little wipe down and it'll be good. Okay, here's the next piece of furniture. I am a sucker for certain pieces, certain pieces of furniture. And I know I you know if you watch my videos, um I oh that's cute. I might, I tend to buy, like, I, I love chairs, so I keep buying chairs. This is extremely shiny. There is a lot of 
lacquer on this little I don't know this is I guess supposed to be these don't open um, mahogany but it's got like a pinkish tone to it I don't know if you could tell oh there goes my puppies barking we got a new puppy and now she's gonna start barking she was taking a nap so I figured I'd sit down nice uh, top though so that's really cute this probably be a bedroom piece um, but as I was saying, I buy a lot of the same piece of furniture in the hopes that, first of all, I may have more than one dollhouse, but, um, right now I only have one, so I can pick and choose when I get to that area, like, um, I have a bunch of hutches and a bunch of chairs that, you know, just single chairs have this thing about chairs I don't know um <laughs> I don't know if you could see it this is like rem uh, reminded me of a little paperweight that I think I still have it it was my mom's actually my husband has his mother's also it's a solid glass and they added different colored glass like through the bottom to make flowers and stuff so that's something that reminded me of my mom so I really wanted to put that on my desk in the study and then here is just a copy of <laughs> again sometimes I just buy something because it's strike it's like sparks and this is a copy of Doug Fancy magazine it doesn't open but I had a subscription when I was a kid, not a, a kid. I mean, even into probably my, maybe my early twenties. Um, here's a really pretty plate. I'm not even going to bother to take that out. I think we're flashing already. Um, we're probably. Okay. So I cleared a little of my card. So let's get going quick before I run out again. Um, I've got several videos in the works and uh, they're bogging down my phone. Anyway, these are cute, cute little, I don't know what you call the federal style handles. So there's a bunch in there. I don't know how many. But uh, I figured if I redo like a Dollar Tree piece or something, I have them. Plus I know I have one missing that looks kind of like that next thing is don't laugh it's just a silly horse again probably 50 cents or whatever um but i thought it was really cute so i do have a child's room so maybe i'll put that in there just a random little plant it's just a little plastic plant again this might have been in a dollar sale i wouldn't probably pay more for something like this so um, this I know was free. They had a bunch of birds. So I guess they got a lot that somebody collected, um, a bunch of little miniature birds. So, uh, they were giving them away for free and I chose this one. It's a little pottery piece. I don't know, something about it I just really liked. Um, again, there's this little doll. I don't know why, but I have a child's room, so maybe I'd put her in there really cute um this reminds me of when i was a kid if you know what these are called please let me know in the below i for life of me forgot um i used to have little teeny ones i don't think i ever had one this big but i really liked her and i love her little face it's very sweet so and she kind of bends her little arm so that's cute um <laughs> Random little dog. Again, I just thought it was cute. So I have a, I have them in black, I think. I think I bought them before in black. So I wanted a partner for him. And then this. Oh, this is really cute. This is heavy for its size. It's like it's, oh, yeah, it's metal for sure. It's a little mailbox. It says U.S. Mail on it. How cute is that? Hopefully you can get a good look at that and put you in a little newspaper. And I figured I would hang it on the outside of the dollhouse by the door. 
So there, that's great. I'm going to put this away, save time, and be right back. Okay. So as I was just saying, I like random chairs, and she had a good deal on um, like little pairs of chairs. I'm going to try and get them together so I can show you. And they're really cute and detailed. I really like them. Um, I probably would take these cushions off or I don't know if they come off. Yeah, they're just on there with a tiny bit of glue. So there we go. Pull it off. Put something else on there. Maybe put them on the front porch eventually. I don't know. But um, there was just something about them. So I picked those up. And then the last... Oh, there looks like there's several things in here. So let me open this up. Okay, so I just cut this open and pulled it and everything went flying. <laughs> so I hope I have everything. I have this little lovey stickery thing on there. Um, I got a little cute little rug. I love the little fringe. And I love that it's it's one of those woven type. It's not printed. So that's a perfect little size. And then I got this. I thought maybe it would work in my hallway. It's the same thing. It's just a little woven piece. But I really I really liked it. This one doesn't have fringe, but I really liked it. Um, I thought it was like a good runner. I think I maybe thought it might be good for stairs, but I don't think it's long enough. Then, very exciting that they had windows. Now, these don't match the front of the house windows. Um, I have, I have, um, there's four here. They're just basic. Will they fit? Yes, I remember, I, I remember measuring these. Um, just little basic windows. They come with the little, looks like the little interior molding. Yep, there. These are a really good deal. I think she had seven, and seven was like a weird number for me. Um, so I bought four because on either of the sides of the dollhouse, there's two windows. Um, and I don't know whether I'm using them or, or not on the inside, but I want the outside to kind of be a little you know, cohesive and have windows. So, um, so I got these, so that'll be in a, in a video one day. Um, and then for some reason I'm, I'm buying a lot of these kits lately. I get them on eBay too. And they're old. Uh, gosh, I don't know if they're from the eighties, maybe the nineties. Um, they're just little kits. And this was just two little, they're calling them candle stands, but I just thought they were little, cute little end tables. One's like a hexagon and one's a circle. Um, let's see if, I, if it's open. Yeah. I'll show you what it looks like inside because one day, one day I'll do it. Yeah. And that's it. Comes with look, the old fashioned written directions. And uh, just the pieces, and since I got the stain and stuff, I figured, I figured I would maybe stain it, maybe paint it. Who knows? We'll see. But um, really nicely made. And again, it was probably cheap enough that I said, you know what? Just get it. All right, guys. So that's really it. Um, I went pretty fast. Let me know what your favorite item that I got is. I think right now my favorite is probably the rugs and the magic lamp. So what I'm going to do now is clean up the tissue paper that's everywhere, box these up, get this video posted, and I have been working on the ceiling in my study. So that video hopefully 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 at least part one will get out um by next week there's a lot of editing involved in it and i'm still haven't finished it so that's why there's only part one all right guys have a great day thanks so much for watching bye